Is that, is, I'll just, is that the partial verdict or is there any, any more? So we don't, we don't know at this point, um, but I think it would make sense if the judge thought that they were able to reach agreement on what might be the trickiest charge here, seditious conspiracy, at least with respect to some of the defendants, to have them come out, give that verdict, and then focus them on the other charges here. I will say um, this is a win for the government to be able to get guilties on seditious conspiracy. As we were talking about, it's a difficult charge. Um, and you have to show something very serious that people entered into that agreement to, by unlawful force, try and prevent the United States government from executing its laws, uh, from being able to accomplish an official proceeding. It's really saying people took up arms. They agreed to use force to try and prevent the federal government from doing its job. That's deadly serious. So uh, just sort of an update, four of the individuals have been found guilty on the second count, which is conspiracy to obstruct a judicial proceeding, I think, I, 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 you can correct me. Right, and then five of them guilty on count three. What's count, what's count three? So I see count three here as conspiracy to prevent members of Congress and law enforcement officers from go. just charge, discharging their duties. And I think count two is an official proceeding. Okay, thank so you. So all, all of this relates to what it boils down, if you're in an elevator and somebody says, what is this about? Is about people storming the Capitol to make sure that members of Congress cannot certify the Electoral College vote which would allow President-elect Biden to then officially be president-elect and then president. It's about stopping the peaceful transfer of power. Um, what The reporting thus far, Anne-Marie, I think this is a big win for the federal government. And the fact that they were able to get guilties on those conspiracy charges deeply undercuts much of what the defense was arguing here, which is there was no pre-planning. They were just listening to what former President Trump was saying, mm. they didn't even know how that day was going to unfold. I think the guilty has really undercut that defense here. So what happens now, Jessica? Uh, what else is left for the jury to consider when they go back into that jury room? Because it's not over yet. It's not over yet. So um, just based on the reporting, it sounds like what they did is they kind of bifurcated and they were able to reach at least partial verdicts, or maybe this is everything they found with respect to those three conspiracy charges. What I believe Anne-Marie read was the top three, those charges dealing with an agreement. Now, it sounds like what they're gonna do is go back and for each individual defendant, look at the charges that are very, very similar, almost the same charges, but not based on a conspiracy, based on their individual actions. I think that the conspiracy charges were frankly the harder ones for the jury to wrestle with. Now they're going to go back and again, look at the individual culpability based on individual actions of each of these defendants. That could go more quickly. And um, to me, it sounds like that the jury was actually able to pass the more difficult threshold and they probably just went in order of the jury verdict form. Um, and so, I mean, what are we looking at here in terms of a sentence? Yeah. So seditious conspiracy, I believe, carries a maximum of 20 years. Um, and we, it's again, it's a very serious charge. We're talking about two decades in federal prison. And the other charges here carry similar sentences. Now, the chances are that um, if and when these defendants are sentenced, that they would be sentenced to serve these um, charges or these guilty verdicts concurrently, meaning that you wouldn't necessarily say, okay, first you're 20 years for seditious conspiracy, now you're 20 years or 10 years for trying to obstruct an official proceeding, uh, but that is up to the judge. And so we could be, the bottom line is, we could be looking at decades in federal prison for these defendants. Um, um, it's just, uh, Sorry, I'm kind of trying to get myself up to date because we have sort of other more on these partial verdicts. 
Um, and I'm scrolling down. Uh, I think in count, the last five, the count, count four, five, they're all guilty. All guilty, yeah. So that's count four, conspiracy to prevent an officer from discharging duties, all five. Uh, count five, obstruction of law enforcement during civil disorder and aiding and abetting. All guilty. All guilty. Count six, um, still waiting for that. Okay. So, so oh, hold you, on a second. Sorry, some <clears throat> clarification here. Okay, guilty, guilty, guilty. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. So I was asking Jessica, the, the more serious charges are the first uh, two. I, I think so. The most serious and the reason that we're talking about this in breaking news is really that seditious conspiracy right. charge. Yeah, right. We have had um, we've had thousands of people charged for what happened on January 6th, and we don't talk about each of them. And a lot of them are charged with things like destruction of government property, trying to prevent law enforcement from carrying out their duties. Seditious conspiracy is just a more serious charge, and it goes, again, to the heart of what keeps our country together, which is um, the peaceful transfer of power and ensuring that people don't try and take up arms and essentially, by force, thwart what the federal government is supposed to do. In this case, what the government was supposed to do that day was certify the Electoral College vote and officially declare now President Biden, President-elect Biden. All right, uh, Jessica Levinson, uh, obviously this is a big uh, breaking news event. Uh, we're obviously gonna stay on top of it. I know you're gonna be uh, following along as the verdicts are being read. And once that jury goes back into the deliberation room, uh, so we'll chat with you a little bit later. As always, we appreciate your insight and analysis. Uh, we'll talk to you in just a moment. All right, now on to some other news. Uh, ProPublica 